Hello and welcome back to NSUSpartans.com. Fueled by Gatorade. The Spartans win again, ninth time in a row. The final score tonight, 81-70. Norfolk State knocks off South Carolina State for the second time in 12 days. We're here with the Team Spartan Partners postgame player of the game. Jonathan Wade, again, another big night for him. 27 points, 11 rebounds. His fourth straight double-double, Ross Gordon, Jule O'Neal, Jonathan Wade, and John. Um, I think one of the big things for us tonight, we wanted to get off better. We started a little bit better tonight, and that was one of the keys to victory tonight, and we did a good job of staying staying aggressive throughout the whole ball game. Yeah, we came out really aggressive. Um, it kind of died off a little bit because they had a quick run, but I was pleased where we kind of started. But we got to have a full 40. But um, it was a, it was a, it was a start for going into the last part of the season to kind of start the season. I mean, start the second half better. So I was pleased a little bit. And you guys have uh, that's kind of your your consistency. You guys have a better second half than yeah. uh, a first half. And for this uh, game in the second half, you guys went to the free throw line 23 times. I mean, they allowed you to shoot 40 free throws, and you guys were able to knock down 32 of it. And they mm -hmm. did that uh, pretty much the similar situation when you guys played them earlier a uh, couple of weeks ago. How do you feel about your team efforts and being able to finish out games in the second half? Um, I feel like we play that first half and we go into, into the locker room and like, we're like, man, we, we all get after each other and we know what we got to do. So it's like a reality check to say we got to get this going. So we, we're from the jump, we were saying aggression, aggression, intense, intensity. So um, say we were, we've been practicing our free throws every day because we know we've been getting to the line a lot and um, we've been knocking them down. So it was good to kind of everybody being aggressive everybody being ready from the jump, uh, and everybody finishing off the game right. Hey, Coach, uh, excuse me, Jonathan, we've done a good job over the last couple of games of winning close ball games. This one we had pretty much in our grasp for the whole game. They got back within three. We did go on a, on a big run. Talk a little about this team finishing ball games because this is probably the way you want to finish as you go down, as you go towards the end of the season. Yeah, it's just uh, I feel like we're making the right plays now. We're not turning over the ball as much. Um, we, we know time and score. We got to know that a lot. Um, handling pressure, knocking down our free throws. We're just trying to do all the little things. Rebounding the ball is a big thing. So we're trying to do all the little things to finish off the game strong and keep getting those double-digit wins. We want to at least win the game by double-digit every time. Hey, so you, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Well, you definitely have a tremendous contribution, especially in Kyle Williams, who finished with 13 points, went seven from eight from the free throw line. Mm. And Dan Robinson uh, uh, tied his career high with nine points and had five boards. So talk about your teammates' effort. Uh, Zanai Robinson with 14 points. How do you feel about their efforts and being able to put it together? Man, um, I love my teammates, to be honest with you. Like, the, what I'm doing right now wouldn't be possible without them because they, my, especially my point guard, Z, he gets me the ball a lot and sets up the plays. And Kyle... I want him to be more aggressive. I want him, <laughs> I want him to shoot more. Um, but him knocking down those free throws when he got fouled, uh, Dan is contributing a lot. He's really stepped up his game since conference season. Uh, Jordan Butler, he's probably going to be defensive player of the year. Mm -hmm. He's a great, great defender. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Kerwin, everybody that comes in really gives us a good spark. So mm -hmm. it keeps the game going when I come out and Z comes out. It's no drop off, so I'm pleased with how my teammates are uh, playing so far. Hey, you look at it, John, and we're getting into the point where we have about uh, three games remaining in the season, uh, three, four games that remaining in the season. Uh, we travel to your home state of Florida. Uh, mm -hmm. You play. It's a lot of a lot of last here. Your last time is a collegiate in Florida in the regular season, mm -hmm. uh, Tallahassee and Daytona. Then we come back. You have your final home game against Howard. Uh, how is this thing? This thing is getting real now. Not only are we in the thick of things for the conference uh, regular season championship, but uh, your, your season and your senior season is coming uh, coming down in the regular season. It's getting real, getting towards the <coughs> conference tournament. Talk a little bit about your feelings as we get into our last four games. Um, it's, it's a sur surreal feeling. Um, I'm kind of taking every day at a time really serious now. Uh, I've been putting in a lot of work throughout this whole season, so – I know that at the, when I look back on everything and how everything plays out, I'm going to know that I gave it everything I had every day. I put in a, a countless of hours, so I know 
when I look back that I did everything I possibly could to take this team as far as far as I can. Um, and think talking about the Florida thing, I, I get to see my family too. They're gonna be at the game, so that's gonna be it's gonna be big. Uh, it's gonna be epic. I can't wait for that game. 27 points, 11 rebounds tonight. One assist and two steals. Congratulations on the win. Nine straight for this team is now 10 and two in conference play. 13 and 13 overall at the 500 mark. I'm trying to get over 500 on Saturday. Quick turnaround as we travel down to Tallahassee to take on FAMU. The women will start at 4 o'clock p.m. and the men will follow at 6. For Jule O'Neill and Jonathan Wade, I'm Ross Gordon. Thank you for watching Norfolk State University Basketball. Your final score, 81-70. to Norfolk State knocks off South Carolina State. You're watching NSU Basketball right here on NSUSpartans.com, fueled by Gatorade.